Now, the special, uh, uh, in, the inspector general for Afghan reconstruction a couple of weeks ago put out a report and they couldn't even get the number of districts that were leaning to or were under the control of the Taliban. The day after they released the report, the Pentagon came back and said that, oh, it was mislabeled. It wasn't really classified. The BBC that day had published uh, a notion that, that between around 75% of the Afghan districts were either leaning towards the Taliban or were under their control. Now, I think that's an overstatement. I think it's more between 45 and 50. But the mere fact that the United States was classifying information on casualties and information on the number of districts under the control of the Taliban, which everybody admits the Taliban control more land now than they have since 2001, 2001 is very telling. The other thing that I think that is very telling is that, you know, we've lost over 2,400 people in Afghanistan and those that's killed in action. The casualty, the actual terrible casualties that we've had and the injuries are, are, are much, much higher. And after spending that type of blood We've also spent treasure of at probably a trillion dollars is a good estimate. And American convoys can't even travel in the capital city, downtown Kabul. When civilians come in to work at the State Department in the embassy in, in Kabul, they have to take a five minute helicopter ride over to the embassy compounds. So, I mean, I think that's, that's, that's a real indicator of the terrible situation that presently exists in Afghanistan, that after all the blood and treasure we've spent, Americans can't even travel in the capital city. Finally, Professor Johnson, uh, for your book, uh, Taliban Narratives, the Use and Power of Stories in the Afghanistan Conflict, you collected um, different chronicles from Afghan civilians, uh, their perspective on the state of their country today. What did you learn there about the prospects for peace, the prospects of an internal sell settlement of that Afghan to Afghan conflict that we began the conversation uh, by talking about? Well, let me make a couple of points relative to that. If you take a look at the intrastate conflicts since World War II, I would argue that be they wars of national liberation, be they insurgency, be they civil wars, these have basically been wars of narratives supported by stories. Because as Mao Zedong said, especially with an insurgency, an insurgency is like fish swimming in water. And of course, the metaphor is the fish are the insurgents and the people are the water. So narratives and stories are very important to be able to get the message across to the people, which are absolutely critical in an insurgency and a counterinsurgency. And after seven or eight years of field research, collecting literally thousands of pieces of IO or PSYOP artifacts uh, by the Taliban, um, I found out that they they told a story that resonated with the rural Afghan. It, the tropes might be untrue, but they 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 resonated. And the United States and Kabul, on the other hand, had no stories or tell uh, no narratives or stories that resonated. And if you consider that we basically occupied the country from 2001 to 2014. You better have a pretty good answer when an Afghan comes up to you and says, why are you in the country? And we literally didn't. Let me tell you a story. In 2009, I gave a keynote speech at uh, a conference with many of the leaders of American information operations and psychological operations attending. And after I gave my keynote speech, I asked the audience, that was maybe 50 to 75 people in total, tell me the three themes that you're going to project uh, this next year, and I believe it was 2009, and the room went silent. And I recognized at that time that this war was not winnable. This war has never been winning, was has never been uh, winnable militarily, it, but it could have been won if we could have gained the trust and confidence of the Afghan people. And there we've just done a tr tremendously terrible job. And that's what my book basically focuses on. It focuses on how the Taliban you know, the stories they told to try to win over the population support and the lack of stories that the United States and even Kabul uh, told, which had a very detrimental impact on this conflict.